In this tutorial, we're gonna see how to create a growing ink map effect inside of After Effects that many big channels use, including Real Life Lore and Johnny Harris. This is going to be done absolutely for free. No plugins like GeoLayers are going to be used. Now, first things first, create a new composition and import your map image onto the program. You can find maps like this of the Earth on Google Images. Select your image layer and hit Ctrl D if you are on Windows or Command D if you are on Mac to duplicate the image. Now hide the bottom one for now and select this one. We want to remove the color of the waters as we want to apply the ink effect only on land. Go to the effects menu, obsolete and then click on the color key. In the effect controls click on this icon here and press on the blue color on the map. Now the blue color is completely removed from our image and what we want to do next is go again to the effect menu and hit fill. You can change the fill color to anything you prefer really. I will stick to the red color for now and I will lower the opacity to 35%. And if we bring up our first image back on the screen, you can see that we have added the red fill color to our map. But the thing is we don't want this fill color to be everywhere in our map. Let's say you're making an explainer video and you're talking about this area of the world and you want to highlight it. This is just an example. All you have to do next is hit G on the keyboard or click on this little pen tool in the tools bar here and then draw on the area you want to highlight. You can also have another map that has borders for reference and more accuracy but I don't really care about accuracy for now as this is just an example. To create the growing fill color animation, expand the highlighted area like this, expand the mask options, go a few seconds forward on the timeline and hit the stopwatches of the mask feathers and mask expansions. Go back to the start position and drag your mask expansion until the highlighted area disappears on the map. Also drag the mask feathers to 50 pixels. Select your keyframes and right click on them. Choose keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease. Or simply hit the F9 key on the keyboard. Now for the next part of the tutorial we will add a sort of like a zoom in alongside the rotational animation to our map to give it sort of a 3D look. First of all add whatever text you have on your video about the area that you want to highlight. I typed example as an example. Customize your text to whatever you feel best, scale it down or up to fit the area and move it to the center of the said area. You can hit W on the keyboard to bring up the rotation tool and rotate the text like this. Then select both of your map layers alongside your text layer and right click on them. Choose the option pre-compose. Let's name it growing ink map. Now expand the transform option here and keyframe the position, the scale and the rotation keyframes and then go forward in the timeline and scale up your layers to add the zoom in effect and then with the position setting, move closer towards your highlighted area. You can play with these settings as you want and you can also move further in the timeline and change the value of the rotation to something like minus 10. And this will add the cool zoom in and rotation animation to your map. Ease the keyframes in to add smoothness to it as well. And now what you can do next is add some more of that 3D look by adding basic 3D on our map. Go to the effects and presets and search for basic 3D. Drag it onto the pre-composed layer and in the effect controls, hit the stopwatches of the swivel and the tilt options. Go to the end of your animation or somewhere you prefer and play a bit with the values. Just like this. Change the values to whatever looks the best and at the end of the day, the animation should look something like this. Easy and simple, done for free without using any of those paid plugins. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to watch this next tutorial.